everybody, I'm Argofump, and this is the 2019 Nancy Drew Games Mega Marathon! I am playing all the Nancy Drew games in preparation for Nancy Drew Midnight in Salem, which is coming out this year. It's been so long since the last game, it's, it's been four years, I, I, I just need to play all these Nancy Drew games and remember what in fact Nancy Drew is actually like. Okay, so uh, I, I'm live streaming here. Hello, Welcome everyone. Case, uh, I'm going to play to Junior playing, Detective here and take it easy on myself detective. because I have not prepared this game in advance. I don't know help, how to solve the puzzles tutorial. in advance. Dear Ned, well, here I am at Captain's Cove Amusement Park, about to try to figure out what's behind all the weird things that have been happening here lately. First, a horse just disappeared off the carousel one night. Then, a little later, the carousel started spinning around all by itself in the dead of night, as if it was haunted or something. And then, last week, the roller coaster suddenly stopped, in mid-ride, for no apparent reason. Nobody was seriously hurt, but the park was shut down until the city knows for sure what caused the accident. I'm here because Paula Santos, the park's owner, is a friend of Dad's. She's putting me up at the Captain's Quarters Hotel, which is next to the park. I'm supposed to head over there right now and meet with a security guard named Harlan Bishop. I hope I don't let Paula down. Wish me luck. Ever yours, Nancy. P.S. There's a rumor going around that the park is cursed. Creepy, huh? Okay, so this was the first Nancy Drew game I ever played, ever. So this is actually one of my favorites. Just because, you know, the memories, the nostalgia. One of my favorites. It's also got an improvement over the last game. This phone. And, oh my gosh, we don't have to dial phone numbers. This is great. That is fantastic. Okay, so is the game too quiet? Could people not hear hear the game? Dear Ned, well, here I am at Captain's Cove Amusement Park. Oh, it looks like the About music to try was to a bit out loud. What's behind all the weird things that have been happening here lately? Dear okay, how's that? Let me know uh, if, uh, if that sounds good when I'm playing up the game. Uh, clearly, I had the game volume. Dear like, Ned, as high. well, here I am at Captain's Cove Amusement Park, about to try to figure yeah, out what's let's behind go with all that. the- let's go with that. Okay, so just just let me know uh, if, if, the, if the sound is too awful or not. So, uh, yeah, we start off in Nancy's Nancy's hotel room. It's nice. There's nothing to really do here. We A can room service some menu. Food. All right! No, no, this wasn't my first walkthrough. This wasn't my first game that I did a walkthrough for. This was the first, um... This is... What do you call it? The first game I played, so that's part of the reason why I like it. I also like the story. It's got some, uh, minor problems, but it's also got some good things about it. Will the young lady who just entered the park please turn immediately and enter the whale's mouth directly to her left? Thank you. No, I'm going into the park. Hello? Yoo-hoo! The whale is waiting. Still waiting. The whale is getting impatient. <laughs> the whale is getting impatient. Still waiting. Yeah. I don't know, I really like the scenery for this game. The setting is really nice, too. The whale is getting impatient. So let's, let's meet Harlan Bishop, the security guard. Well, from the way you just marched right on in here past all those sorry we're closed signs, you're either who I think you are or you're one determined gatecrasher. Who do you think I am, sir? You must be Harlan. Paula Santa said you'd be expecting me. Which means you must be Nancy Drew, famous teen detective. Yes, I am very famous. And you're the security guard. The only security guard, sounds like. I begged Miss Santos to keep me on while the park's closed, even agreed to a pay cut. So you're not intimidated by all this curse stuff? Somebody swiped the horse off a carousel and now it's malfunctioning. The police don't think it's that big a deal and frankly, neither do I. So it's not actually that big a deal. He's right, it's not actually that big a deal and it's kind of bad that he introduces the mystery as not that big a deal. Because that kind of downplays the mystery and makes you, think, makes you feel like this game isn't that big a deal, it's not very fun to play. And yeah, I'm just saying, this is this not a very good intro. So you think the carousel starts up by itself because some wires got damaged? Makes sense to me. Of Course, I'm no expert, and Ingrid swears she can't find anything wrong with the carousel's electrical system. But then, I kind of think she doesn't want to. Who's Ingrid? Ingrid Corey. You'll probably meet her. She's working during the shutdown, too. She's the park's chief engineer. Believes in all this wacky, new-age, psychobiogenic stuff. Like if you eat food served by a waiter who's in a bad mood, you'll get scurvy or something. Is anyone else in the park now? Elliot Chen. He's the art director. Hardly ever see him. Busy guy. 
and Joy Trent, park bookkeeper. In fact, she's your next stop. She is? Miss Santos's orders. Joy pays all the bills so she knows pretty much everything that's going on. Plus, she'll give you an access card. Miss Santos wants you to have the run of the place. That would certainly help. Wait, hang on. I know Joy won't give you one of these, so I will. Here you go. It's a Captain's Cove fun card. Let's you ride the rides and play the games on the midway. Come back to me if you burn through that one and need another. Am I not supposed to have this? Well, see, Joy's just kind of joyless. It had never occurred to her that you might want to have some fun while you're here. Of course, she's a newbie too, like me. Maybe she'll come around. Anyway, here's a map of the park. I put an X where Joy's office is. Hooray! What did you mean when you said you were a newbie? I've only worked here for a couple of weeks. I figured staying on while the park was closed would help me get up to speed on all the equipment and such. Where did you work before you came here? Oh, I worked in a store. Department store. You know, as a security guard. In Flemington. Not around here. I see you have a security camera trained on the carousel. Does that mean you got the theft of that carousel horse on tape? We didn't start monitoring the carousel until after the theft. But we do have one of those so-called hauntings on tape. Want to see it? That'd be great! I got the tape right here, all queued up. I played it for the police. Like I said before, they weren't real impressed. There's no sound, on the tape at least. The band organ started up when the carousel did. Stayed on for about 30 seconds, then stopped. Yeah, I mean... I guess that's kind of a haunting. Not really. It just looks like a normal carousel, yeah. Did you notice that burst of static just before the carousel started to turn? Probably just a glitch in the tape. We use them over and over. Have you tried to prove your screwed up wiring theory? I ain't no cop. But now that you're here, maybe you can prove it for me. Maybe you could do my job for me. That would be great. Please do that, Nancy. I'll see you around. Go get him. <laughs> and Nancy doesn't know what the word newbie means. Well, this was his first uh, Nancy Drew game, too, I guess. Nancy Drew a visit today. Give her a fun pass, map a park, send a joy. The phone number for the police. That might come in handy. I feel like maybe if this game had less of the, um, like the phone conversations, then that would make the game flow faster. But there's like it five would be or rude so. To use my phone now. Five or so phone conversations. It'd be really rude for me. Please to... don't open that. Sorry, bad habit. It'd be really rude of me to try to open this guy's locker right in front of him. Ooh, and uh, this is electricity. Yeah. I don't think we can look at anything else here. He just sort of sits there all day and that's it. So let's see. First stop, we see Joy. Hello. Hi, Nancy. It's Paula Santos. I was wondering when I'd hear from you. Have you been out to the park? Yes, I have. I forgot to tell you, all the rides are shut down except for the carousel. I thought you might need to see it in action. But please, take a good look at the roller coaster even if you can't ride it. What did the police find when they looked at it? They looked around for five minutes, then left. Said as long as the insurance company was going to investigate, why should they? Well, I'll see what I can do, Miss Santos. I can't wait to hear what you turn up. Call me as often as you like. My phone's on and with me 24-7. Oh, and one more thing. Call me Paula. All right. Goodbye, Paula. I actually kind of like this cartoon map. I mean, yeah, it would be cool if we actually got to see, like, the actual things. They did make this scenery, so, like, why didn't they use the actual scenery they made? Um, you can see we've got the, the, the wheel thingies here. Ferris wheels. But, yeah, I kind of like this. I kind of like the, uh, the highly stylized, um, you know, uh, cartoon setting that they've got for this game. Uh, you know, because we've got we've got those the same cartoon cartoon uh -oh. pictures. Looks everywhere, like it's out of order. Which which you would see in like a real theme park. And here we go. Here's Joy the Joyless. I also like Joy's storyline too, because I remember when I actually went to uh, her interactive in real life, and I got to talk to um, the the CEO. Uh, uh, Megan, and she's like, well, what's your favorite Nancy Drew game? And I blinked, and I said, this one, because, um, you know, it was the first game I played, and she's like, well, why that's, why is that your favorite? And I'm like, um, Miles. I like Miles. Miles, the magnificent memory machine! And she's like, yeah, it really does have a good emotional story about Joe finding, uh, I mean, about Joy, you know, reconnecting with her past and her father. And I'm like, 
Oh, uh, wow. She made it sound really, really good when she put it that way, and whereas I just like Miles because he's a funny robot voice. So, um, I, I, I guess I was just a little intimidated when I went to see her interactive and, you know, stop by their office because I'm like, oh, what do I say? You guys make these games that, that, that I've played a million times, so. Hello. Are you Nancy? Also, it's totally like me to just love a character just because they have a silly, entertaining voice. Not not necessarily because they're a good, fantastic character. That's right. I'm Nancy Drew. So Ms. Santos has filled you in? Yes. Although I don't know who she thinks she's fooling. What? Excuse me? You're only here because it makes it look like Paula Santos had nothing to do with any of this curse garbage. Sounds like you're not much of a believer when it comes to curses. I just know greed when I see it, that's all. I've seen how Paula runs the park. All she wants is to get more and more people through that gate. And what better way to do that than with a carousel that's allegedly haunted? Yeah, but what about the roller coaster? I mean, that would be a great, um, you know, uh, plan to get more people into the park, just, just using the fake, fake haunted roller coaster. That would be really good. But Joy wastes no time in insulting her boss. Very rude. But why would she sabotage the roller coaster? She can't make any money with a park shut down. She probably just didn't know the park would be shut down. Have you ever confronted Ms. Santos with your suspicions? Of course not. I don't want to get fired. Besides, nobody's been hurt. Except that glorified con artist who claims his neck got injured, Lance Huffington. And the truth is, Paula offered me this job because she knew I needed the money. And I'm not entirely ungrateful. My father died recently. His estate is in bankruptcy. He used to be co-owner of the park. Two years ago, he suffered a huge financial setback, and he had to sell his share to Paula. When he died two months ago, he was flat broke. Paula could have bailed him out, but she didn't. Frankly, I think the reason she hired me was guilt. I love how we just meet her for the first time, and she tells me her entire life story. Oh, and it's being pointed out. Yeah, the storyline about Joy and Miles um, isn't really connected to the carousel or, or the current day mystery. I mean, they kind of connect it towards the end, but they're still like barely connected storylines. That is sort of a problem. But like I said, Miles is just a fun, silly joke character. Maybe like, I think it's, it, it's kind of a little out of place how silly and jokey he is compared to other games in this series, which are, are more serious. Be that as it may, I'd still like to talk to some of the other employees. Of course. But before I forget, here's your access card. That should get you into all the private areas of the park. But if you run into problems, don't come to me. Ask the chief engineer, Ingrid Corey. Her office is by the haunted house. The only other people in the park right now are Harlan Bishop and the art director, Elliot Chin. His studio is right by the treasure chest souvenir shop. But try not to bug him. Does he not like to be disturbed? He's behind in his work and needs to catch up. Ms. Santos has been getting on my case about it. Well, I think you have everything, so if you'll excuse me? Oh, right. Uh, thanks for all your help. Uh, sorry if I disturbed you. <laughs> Alright, so I think the only thing we necessarily have to look at is this. You get a phone call hmm, about this if you Maybe I should don't. give Detective Paris a call. So the phone call changes Hidden depending jewels. on whether or not you've maybe seen this or not. Maybe that's what whoever stole that carousel horse was after. Jewels from that heist. Yeah, so Joy meets Nancy. She's like, oh, my boss is a jerk. My father's dead and I have terrible taste in clothing. Yeah, so um, basically Miss Santos will call and she'll either say, hey, Nancy, you should look into uh, the, this, this, this jewel heist from a long time ago. Or she'll say, hey, hey Nancy, I'm going to call Detective Paris for you. Uh, that I think those are the differences between those phone calls. But yeah, you can't avoid that phone call. So, um, this is just a huge, this is also kind of like a huge red herring, uh, Detective Paris. There's, there are, um, there are jewels inside, one in the carousel. It could be that jewels are hidden inside one of the carousel horses. Whoa, I think that's it. And we're gonna get Elliot mad at us, because why not? Hang on, I'll be right with you. Take your time. Uh-oh. Out. And do not come back unless and until Joy Trent calls me. Okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, Joy is just, just always a very angry person. And actually, Paula is always very angry. And Joy likes to complain a lot, too. That's why they work together so well. They, they just they spend all their time complaining. 
Haven't heard from Joy yet. Out. Haven't heard from Joy yet. Out. Yeah, everybody's just sort of introduced as a meanie in this game. Okay, well, we go back to Joy. And this is where we meet Miles. Now, why did she uncover Miles when she left? Who are you? And what are you doing? This is a uh, very that. strange. I said that. Over here, on top of the cabinet. Keep going. Over here. Please identify yourself, Miles. I'm a detective named Nancy Drew, and you are? I am Miles, the magnificent memory machine. I receive and process video and audio input and make appropriate pre-programmed verbal responses. Who programmed you? It is my turn to ask a question. Nancy Drew. Why are you here when Joy is not? As a matter of fact, I need to leave a message for her. There is a pad for leaving messages on the desk. Why did you call yourself a memory machine? Responding to the non-joy entity is an unnecessary drain on my power units and is heretofore disallowed. What does that mean? Hello? Miles? I guess it means he's not going to talk to me anymore. Miles is just so silly looking like handlebars, and that's clearly a pipe, and this looks like an easy bake oven. Responding is an unnecessary drain on my power unit. And so I'm not gonna pay attention to you. Rawr, 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 rawr. Oh yeah, we hmm. need to looks like stenography. We need to look about it's this. It's a memo about one of the carousel horses being sold. I wonder which horse. Miles is practically sentient. Yeah, like he can remember Nancy's name. This is a very, very well programmed uh robot. I can use this to leave a note for Joy to call Elliot. And that's the, the the ghost dogs book. I mean the ghost dogs um, stationery. And yeah, I think that's it. That's it. So uh, for the stenography, we are going to have to call Nancy's friends, Bess and George. So let's do it right now. I think that's it. I think Hello? that's what we have hey, to Bess, do. Hey Bess, it's Nancy. Oh, hey Nancy. Whoa, you were obviously hoping I was someone else. Well, kinda. Okay, so who is he and where'd you meet him? Oh, Nancy, his name's Matt, and he is so cute. He works the concession stand at the movie theater in the mall. A cute guy with an endless supply of gummy bears and butter flavoring. Right at his fingertips. We're talking major crush. Hey, George, good. You're there, too. Barely. I almost got caught standing between Bess and the phone just now. When it rings, she's like a one-woman cattle stampede. What happened to caller ID, Bess? My parents yanked it. She wouldn't pick up when it was some loser she didn't want to talk to. Her mother got tired of hearing the phone ring all the time. Not all those calls were from losers. Sometimes I was playing hard to get. Anyway, how are things at the amusement park? I met the security guard, Harlan Bishop. Nice guy. Except when I asked him where he worked before. He seemed kind of evasive. Is he cute? Bess, what difference does that make? Ugly people have chips on their shoulders and are more likely to commit crimes, George. I read that somewhere. Either read it or saw it on Oprah. Okay. <laughs> Bess watches Oprah. He's from New Jersey. I'm pretty sure about that. Well, I guess that's not surprising. But if he was evasive? We know what that means, don't we, Bess? Suspect list. Uh-oh. I need you guys to do something for me. I found some stenography notes that I'd really like to translate, only I don't know shorthand. Say no more. We'll do some research and get right back to you. We will? I barely know how to spell stenography, let alone research it. We'll call you when we're through. We can do this, Bess. What is with all this we stuff? Joy Trent has a computer in her office that sees, hears, talks, and interrupts people when they're snooping. And you, of course, were snooping. Well... That's our girl. Why does she have such a sophisticated computer? This thing is not that sophisticated. In fact, it looks like it was made out of spare parts. Do you think Joy made it? I doubt it. Well, the next time it catches you snooping, just smile sweetly, then rip its little plug right out of the wall. Catch you guys later. Keep in touch. Keep up the good work. Yeah. It is, uh... 
interesting how the game insists Nancy was snooping around in the office when really all she does is just go to the desk and write a message and that's it. You don't really get an opportunity to snoop. Uh, and Hello? here's a mandatory Hi, phone call, it's like Paul I said, Santos. about the newspaper article. You know, article. I just had a thought. There's a newspaper article and photo in Joy's office that I want you to be sure to take a look at. They're in a frame on the wall. I may have seen them. What are they about? They're a little piece of park history. The guy in the photo found a bunch of jewels that had been stolen in a heist years ago and stashed away on one of the rides at Captain's Cove. The police said there was a good chance more jewels would turn up. Maybe that's why someone stole that carousel horse, because there were jewels hidden inside it. My thoughts exactly. I called the detective that was in charge of the investigation back then. His name is K.J. Paris. He's going to call you. Oops, I gotta run. I just wanted to give you a heads up. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Yeah, so uh, somebody just pointed out, Nancy does have a, a pencil here, but she has to look for a pencil and paper when she's going to Joy's office. That's very strange. I really do need to get this work done. R right. Sorry. Huh. Well, I thought we would be able to talk about Joy and uh, it, it, talk to Miles and start the Miles storyline. I guess we can't do that quite Hello? yet. This is Detective K.J. Paris, Captain's Cove Police Department. Paula Santos asked me to call you. Said it concerned that heist out of Captain's Quarters 23 years ago? Yes, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was thinking maybe the reason that horse was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove two weeks ago was because somebody thought there were jewels from that heist inside it. Hmm, never occurred to me, but it's possible, I suppose. The thief's name was Chaz Dunning. Died in prison about a year ago. I'll tell you what. I'll make some calls, try to see if there was somebody he confided in before he died. Somebody who was recently released. That would be fantastic. Well, as soon as I know something, you'll know something. Thanks, Detective Paris. It was great talking to you. Ditto. Yeah, this guy has a very muffled voice. And somebody points out I have to do the roller coaster accident before um, doing that thing with Joyce. So then, uh, let's get into the roller coaster accident. I like this, um, Nancy's notes on her computer. That's pretty cool. Spilled some paint in Elliot Chen's studio, and he won't talk to me. Talk about being a klutz. Yeah, see, I thought we had to talk to, to Joy about Elliot, maybe. This is a random flag game. What is this, the matching game? This is the three-in-a-row game. Okay, so this... I have no idea why that game is in this game. It doesn't seem like it's important. Um, the to-do list. It's very nice how the to-do list automatically marks things off for you. That's great. And, uh, let's see. Nancy cannot send mail. Nancy, welcome to, uh, Sassy Detective Magazine, which will give you hints on how to solve puzzles in this game. So, this is how we use, um, Invisible Ink. I guess we have to go other places in the game to trigger things. So that, that could be another complaint you have about the game. A lot of this stuff is broken and you can't go to it at the, Hello? At the start Hi, of the Max. game. We found some stuff on stenography. Oh, so now it's we, huh? Okay, George found most of it. Surprise, surprise. But I helped. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. So go back to the hotel and check your laptop. We emailed a little tutorial to you. But you gotta promise to let us know what the note you translate says. I promise. Thanks again, you guys. This takes an employee access card. I wonder what the deal is with this red tag. Yeah, Nancy is supposed to uh, notice these things. And I think if we tried to go to, say, uh, the Demons of the Deep, we'll also notice this. This takes an employee access card. Access card, and we had the, the things in the midway, which also were broken and had uh, other stuff. So let's... Talk to Ingrid. I think she might give us the employee access card. Do I have an employee? I think I have the employee access card. But it's still not work. Okay, got it. I seem to remember. I try my employee access card and it doesn't work. Hmm. Hmm. But it does work on Demons of the Deep, right? Maybe? That's it. Okay, it's so we, locked. we do 100% need to check to know that the employee access card doesn't work. Doesn't work. So uh, now we can ask Ingrid about it and she can fix it. Looking for someone? 
If you're Ingrid Corey, not anymore. That's me. Ordinarily, I don't do the hands-on work, and I'd be able to shake your hand, Ms. I'm sorry, Drew. Nancy Drew. I'm helping Ms. Santos discover what's behind these carousel hauntings. Okay if I ask you some questions? Sure. Oh, my. You've got B3 issues. Uh-oh. I do? Vitamin B3. Niacin. The vibe you're giving off tells me you're low. Nothing that some natural peanut butter on a slice of whole wheat bread once a day won't fix. Harlan Bishop mentioned that some of your beliefs concerning food were somewhat unconventional. It just seems obvious to me that what you eat, as well as the psycho-spiritual conditions under which you eat it, results in what you are, that's all. That doesn't really sound obvious at all, but okay, let's go with it. Are you, are sure, you sure you're, you're, you're an, an engineer? engineer? Got a Bachelor of Science degree from Ohio State and everything. I like surprising people. Unpredictability is what makes life interesting. Miss Santos asked me to figure out why weird things have been happening around here lately. What's to figure out? Someone stole a horse off the carousel, and now the park is cursed. Why would someone steal a carousel horse? Money. I hear they can be very valuable. Could I see the blueprints of the roller coaster so you can show me exactly where on the track it stopped? I've looked all over for those blueprints and can't find them anywhere. I'm sure one of the other engineers knows where they are, but I'm afraid I don't. Sorry. Oh, that's right. Okay, so she is going to give us a lot of chores to do. Thank you, Ingrid. Um, the red roller coaster, like I said, the tag, that was the tag I noticed. We've got to notice the tag and... I'd like to take a closer look at the roller the coaster, thing. but the access card reader doesn't work. It's got this red tag on it. Right. I was in the process of upgrading its main circuitry board. I'm afraid you're going to have to wait until I finish here. Unless you'd like to do it for me. Do you really think I could handle it? It's not exactly brain surgery. All you have to do is follow the schematic inside the reader. Here's the new macro resistor. When you see the board, you'll be able to see where it goes. You'll need to solder it in place. The park is obviously cursed because of niacin. Niacin. Okay, high five. Which means you're going to have to get my soldering gun from Elliot Chen. Here's the engineering handbook I put together. If you have questions about park-related electronics, it'll answer them. Keep it as long as you like. It is, yeah. So, you know, asking, why can't Ingrid be obsessed with something sensible like gummy bears? That's a normal thing for engineers to be obsessed with, but no, niacin. When you're all done, remove the red tag and take it to Harlan. That way he'll know it's safe to turn the power back on to the reader. That's not my cell phone. It must be yours. Are you going to answer it? No, that would be rude. I'll just call them back. So, once you get that tool from Elliot, you should be all set. So that chore is actually like a triple chore, as you saw there. She just explained how it's a triple chore. Uh, we also wanted to use, I, I also wanted to check the access card, because this is another access card issue that needs to be fixed. I don't seem to be having much luck using my access card. Am I doing something wrong? I deactivated most of the readers because of the shutdown. As Soon as I get done here, I'll get them online again. Sorry. Hey, if you come across a pair of pliers, hang on to them, okay? Mine are missing. Someone must have walked off with them. I really think that the only reason they throw that in is just to prevent you from exploring um, certain areas too early, which is kind of a shame. Any advice on how to go about fixing the midway game that's broken? It needs to be reprogrammed. Open up the back. Should be some instructions on the clipboard. Check that handbook I gave you if they're too cryptic for you. But you'll also need the plug-in keyboard, and unfortunately I have no idea where it is. One of my guys probably left it in the park somewhere. <laughs> we'll have to find all of this stuff, too. Aww. How well do you know Harlan Bishop? I know he's an ex-bouncer from Trenton. I also know it drives him nuts that this is one of the few places in the park he doesn't have a key for. Do you mind having to work during the shutdown? Not a bit. Keeping those card readers functioning is practically a full-time job all by itself. Plus, I happen to adore my job. Thanks for your help. One open mind sees more than two open eyes. Yeah, so I, I noticed when it comes to Nancy Drew games, it's like, people tend to dislike the chores, but if you like the game, you're able to put up with it. So, like, if you like um, Secret of Shadow Ranch, um, then you're, you're generally okay with the chores, but if you hate that game, you hate the chores, same goes for this one. I, I don't know why Looking the chores seem to, like, right. make Sorry. or break a game, but that does seem to be the case. So she's got a really cool car...
and that's it. There's nothing else to see in her area. Bad food, a hot dog, a soda, french fries, no, good food, fruit, and vegetables. So let's get the soldering gun from Elliot Chen. I don't know why he has her soldering gun. Well, Miss Destructo returns. I'm really sorry about what happened before. These things happen. So, I hear you're out to solve the curse of Captain's Cove. How do you explain what's been going on around here? What do I know? I'm just an artist. Go ask our naturopathic engineer person. Do you have any idea who stole that horse off the carousel? Somebody who's into junk. That's odd. Ingrid said carousel horses can be very valuable. Well... When they're the original horses, they can be valuable, yes, but I was talking about the one that was stolen. It was not an original. Around 18, 20 years ago, somebody bought one of the horses off the carousel. The guy who owned the park back then commissioned some hack to replace it. So that's what the stenography note is about. It's about that horse that was um, purchased 18, 20 years ago. So the horse the hack carved was worthless? Right. Okay, somebody actually looked up symptoms of severe niacin deficiency. Oh my goodness, so headache, apathy, fatigue, depression, memory loss, thick scaly pigmented rash on skin exposed to sunlight, swollen mouth, bright red tongue, vomiting, and diarrhea. Wow. Make sure to get your niacin, everyone. Those sound like some really, really terrible uh, side effects of niacin deficiency. Ingrid said, you have her soldering gun. I need to get it from you, if that's okay. You bet. Here you go. Been meaning to return it to her, but I've been a little busy. Great. Thanks. The fact that the park is shut down must be kind of a relief for you. You mean because I'm behind in my work? I'd be lying if I said the shutdown wasn't helping me get caught up. Meeting deadlines has never been my forte. But I certainly hope you're not suggesting that I arranged for the park to be shut down by somehow manufacturing this curse thing because that would be ridiculous. Do you see much of the other people who are working during the shutdown? Like Joy Trent or that security guard Harlan Bishop? Nah. Joy Trent, she's like invisible even when she's visible, if you get my drift. And that rent -a cop I've got no desire to see anything of him. Did you two have some kind of run-in? What, like a fight or something? How could we? He's one of the nicest, friendliest, most helpful guys I've ever met. <laughs> totally creeps me out. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks a lot. Yeah. So, uh, you know, a visible, even invisible, even when she's visible. I tend to be that sometimes in real life. Could I so. have some of these tissue strips? Be my guest. It's happened to me. I remember, like, in the crowds, just, just uh, you know, just sort of, yeah, everybody sort of, like, grabbed, circled together in a circle, and then I just sort of was slowly sliding backwards out of the way. I can use this to measure. I don't know. I, I'm doing a terrible job of explaining it. I just remember that one, uh, this one thing in college when we had like a, a career wow, networking late. thing and then I was just sort of just, just hiding. There's really nothing else to check here. We just needed to get the soldering gun, which we can use to fix the tidal terror roller coaster. This takes an employee access card. Better not take the tag until I fix this. Okay, okay, we need to open this first. So, uh, when Elliot leaves his area, click the art behind his desk. Okay, that's cool. So, um, I'll try to keep an eye out for this. This involves, um... 15 and 5. I seem to remember this puzzle being ridiculously, um, unnecessarily complicated. Let's see, this goes here. Where does it go? That goes here, and then I think we just need to solder everything. We'll see if that works. I'll just solder the bottom area first. That's not right. And then let's solder, solder the top area then, because only doing the bottom doesn't work. Uh-oh! According to Ingrid, you oh, no. not only fried that particular card reader, but you short-circuited the entire system. She says it'll take days to repair the damage, maybe even weeks. Oops, guess I really blew it. <laughs> As it were. I'm not in the mood for lame jokes, Nancy. Nor am I in the mood for paying for any more of your mistakes. So guess what? You're off the case. Wow, Paula is just kind of a jerk. We'll try that again. So, what about these That's two? That's still not right. 
Maybe it's just gonna be top and then um, right one. There, that looks right. Okay, that's it. You kind of knew that the one on the right has to be used because, well, that was the piece that you put onto the onto the the puzzle. So there we go. Now we've we've got the um, the roller coaster fixed, so we can go inside there. Yeah, you're off the case, Nancy. We need detectives who are good at soldering with electronics. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Could you turn the power back on to the card reader outside the roller coaster? It's all fixed. Here's the tag. You bet. I'll just switch the circuit back on and you'll be all set. Ingrid said you told her that you were a bouncer before you came to work here. In Trenton, not Flemington. Uh, right. I was. For a while. I've held almost every guard type job there is. Lived in a lot of different places too. Trenton, Jersey City, Flemington, Cape May. I'm afraid I got off on the wrong foot with Elliot. I spilled paint all over something he'd been working on. Ooh, not good. The guy's already about a month behind in his work. Any idea why he's so far behind? He's a procrastinator. Doesn't really like to work, so he does whatever he can to avoid it. Puts things off to the last minute. Me, I get stuff done right away. You do too, I'll bet. Is he in danger of losing his job? Way I hear it, if he doesn't get caught up like fast, he's gonna be waving bye-bye like soon. Yeah, that is kind of strange. Nancy did just dump the paint on the floor. How did it get all over Elliot's stuff? He was not working on the floor. That's strange. And people are talking about all the bosses in the Nancy Drew games. So like Minette. I'll see you Minette around. is a really Have fun. awful boss. Um, Joanna, mm, she wasn't that bad. Mostly all she did was just order you around and then insult you for being happy. Actually, yeah, that's a really awful boss, too. So Paula is not, not a very good boss. Does Nancy have a boss who is just a friendly, nice person? I really do need to get this work done. R right. Sorry. Um, let me see. What's that other game? Um, uh, the Deadly Device. Boss is really mean to Nancy there, too. Anyway, we fixed this. Yay, it's fixed. Now we can go on the roller coaster of death and doom. Dr. Quigley forces you to do a lot of work. Uh, Rose was kind of nice. Rose is terrible when she's firing you because you 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 saw a word in a book. Um, yeah. Katie Firestone is not all that nice. I mean, Melina in um like Labyrinth of Lies, she fires Nancy. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, Katie Firestone is not that bad. Um, that's in Danger by Deception Island. But she has a reputation for being awful. The game goes out of its way to say that she was terrible at the at the town hall and caused fights. And I'm like, this looks she like doesn't one of joys. Really follow up and doesn't cause fights for the rest of the game. Huh. Very strange. Anyway, what we need to do is go in and find that pencil, and then immediately when we leave, we get attacked. Ow! I'm Nancy's trapped! Nancy's boots! No! Yeah, Sally uh -oh. in the previous game was kind of decent. Um, to get my foot loose, I need to switch the track scared, somehow. Not because she's, like, mean. Looks like I have to reconnect these wires. This puzzle is just uh, random guessing, unless I'm mistaken. Now I can turn the power. There are six ways to connect these. I'll just have to try them all. That's not right. Okay, so clearly green on top doesn't work. I uh, here, let me... That's... This is a death scene. You were electrocuted? Uh, that's what Harlan said must have happened. I was out cold when he found me. I can't afford to have you blundering around the park getting into accidents, Nancy. My insurance rates are high enough. In other words, you're off the case. You got electrocuted? You're off the case, Drew! Ow! I'm trapped! Seriously, how are her toes not broken if that giant thing is just uh -oh. smashing down on her foot? With enough strength that she can't loose. walk away. I need to switch the track somehow. Because it's not possible for her to uh, just take her shoe off or walk away. So it must be pressing down on a good portion of her foot. Pretty, pretty hard. Looks like I have to reconnect these wires. Now I can turn the power. There are six ways to connect these. I'll just have to try them all. That's not right. I wonder if the solution changes each time, or if I'm just... I just have a terrible memory. That's still not right. 
Come on. Oh, no. So if you wait a couple of minutes, Nancy will <sighs> get hit Still not right. and die. Unless I'm totally mistaken. Try, try again. That's not right. I thought I tried all six combinations. Did I not do that? Yay, I did it. Okay, change positions. Yay! And Nancy survives. Yeah, Chantal was kind of mean and incompetent. It was mostly she made you do stupid stuff, but I guess that's not her being awful. That I don't know. In any case, poor Nancy. Poor Nancy. She never gets paid, and her bosses are all awful. Poor, poor Nancy. Need something? Someone activated the roller coaster while I was standing on the tracks just now. I barely managed to escape. Really? Are you sure it was on purpose? Maybe you accidentally tripped a switch or something. It was no accident. Does this pencil I found by the tracks look familiar? That looks like one of mine. But I didn't leave it there. I mean, just because you found one of my pencils, that hardly proves I'm guilty of something. Joy, while you were gone, the Nancy Drew entity came in here and snooped. You were snooping around in here? Well, I was leaving you a note. You know, to call Elliot. An analysis of sensory input shows that the Nancy Drew entity entered the immediate area during your absence and exhibited non-random seeking behavior. <sighs> All right, I was snooping. And now if you don't mind answering a question from me, what is that? My father was a frustrated inventor. After he died, I discovered that in his study. In his will, he said he made it just for me. I don't have room in my apartment, so I brought him here. I keep him covered when I know I'm going to have company. As you noticed, he can be kind of a blabbermouth. The word blabbermouth is without meaning to... Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine! Miles is just... I mean, come on, he tattletailed on me. That's not very... that's not very nice. And she doesn't have room to keep him in her apartment? How small is her apartment? This... Miles does not look like he takes up that much space. Why does he call himself the Magnificent Memory Machine? My father said he invented Miles in order to reacquaint me with my childhood. It always bothered him that I was never as happy-go-lucky as he was. What am I, Miles? Joy Trent is a party-pooping stick in the mud. So my father programmed him with a bunch of riddles designed to reconnect me with long-lost memories from my childhood. Yeah, and it's really awful that her dad programmed Miles to insult her. At the same time, he programmed Miles to uh, help her remember her, her, her childhood. That sounds fascinating. I don't see it that way at all. I don't want to relive my childhood. My mother died when I was four. I think somebody wins the boss competition. The best boss was John from Tomb of the Lost Queen, who helps who helps save Nancy at the very end of the game. Way to go, John! John was John was a great boss. But it's what your father wanted. Shouldn't you at least give it a try? I should be mad that you were snooping around in here. But the truth is, I think it's neat that you're so gutsy, especially since I'm so not gutsy. Oh, what the heck! Okay, Miles, let's hear the first riddle. Here is the first riddle. Listen carefully. To be told a truth long since put away, bring me the silvery remains of a four-bit day. I have no idea what he's talking about. I knew it would be a waste of time. Maybe it'll ring a bell with somebody else. I'll ask around. Do what you want, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Yeah. So is Miles uh, plugged into the wall or not? You can get... Uh, from this angle, you can see a little bit of Miles. Uh, we see a wire and two buttons here. So maybe Miles is plugged into the wall, maybe not. I can't really see that well, but I just wanted to note that from this angle, we get to see more of the wires and stuff, as opposed to the just looking at Miles from head on, which is what we normally see him from. Uh, let me go back to the hotel, and uh, we wanted to look up the, uh, 
uh, oh, news from home. Hi, Nancy. Togo was playing with the squeaky toy. It rolled under the TV cabinet. I can't reach it. Now Togo just lies and whimpers because he wants his toy from the cabinet. So here's the information on stenography. Hooray, stenography. Okay, so now Nancy knows everything about stenography. The stenography stuff was really cool, though, actually. Sassy detective tip. You can get awards, um, depending on uh, how you try to beat the game. And this was really, that was a, uh, something new in this game, which is really cool, the awards. And then more news, um, the dog has not left. Poor dog. So now I can change, now I can answer the stenography. The horse's name is Glory. The name of the carousel horse is Glory. Yay, and what else is on my to-do list now? Yeah, this is the actual first useful to-do list. Although the one in Scarlet Hand was okay, too. I haven't checked out the carousel. Um, I haven't fixed Barnacle Blast. Keep checking email. Really? Okay, check out Ingrid's. Found Ingrid's keyboard. Okay, so we're going to do the mystery, and we're going to do uh, Ingrid's keyboard. How's that? Unless there's something else you guys really want me to do, like try to follow up on, um... Oh, there's that weird noises. The weird noises. Follow up on the, the, the police chief. What is that noise? Chief Paris. Sounds like it's coming from below. There's the keyboard. This area just leads to, uh, oh, order a burger. Just an old service. radiator. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I'm hungry. The haunted mouse. The, the haunted mouse. Haunted house is kind of crazy. Yeah, very scary. So, Midway Games. So, it's KM5200. The keyboard is missing. And then it's super. So what was it? Um, where am I clicking? So KM five two zero zero. And that's it. We fixed it. I think we fixed the game. So now we can play Barnacle Blast, and we need to win. If I both play level this game, I can win a seashell two. and a mermaid. So this is kind of crazy, because, uh, you know, in real life, they, they never have games which give you two prizes. It, it's either one prize or the other, not both at the same time. Arr! Time for a game of Barnacle Blast! You have four fun credits left on your card. Now blast all those nasty barnacles off the ship! I actually kind of like Barnacle Blast. Um, okay, space bar to shoot. You can go left or right. Let's go with medium mode. Um, thank you. So it's the case that I have to 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 beat level two, it said, or was it level three? I remember in high school, everybody would play this game in the uh, school library. Uh, not not Barnacle Blast specifically, but a game just like it. I think it was called Arkanoid or something like that. I could be wrong. It's just a free game they had on the internet. And that was much better than, apparent, apparently that was much better than doing homework or schoolwork or anything in the library. Just, just play video games. Alright, here we go. This should be it. Oh, that's not it. And so now I have to bounce it all the way across the entire screen. In hopes of trying to get it here. No! Oh, okay, now this game is just being mean to me. Hey, 
Yay, I won! Alright, Barnacle Blast! Yay, I won the shell token! Ha ha! Yar! I'm just leaving my paddle in the same place, not even moving it. Oh, I had to move it there. I was a little worried about... Oh good, it's on top. I like when it, it stays on top and then you don't have to, to move your paddle and half the board gets cleared. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, as you can see, it's very tough when it, we, we get towards the end of the puzzle like that, uh, like this, and I just need to get the one thing, and that's all. Got it. I won! Hooray! Okay, so I got both tokens. Game over. And we need to get tokens for um, all the other games, so let's just play them all. You're about to play Swimmer's Itch! You have three fun credits left on your card. Your mission is to get the swimmer to the beach. So this is actually kind of fun, I think. I like playing games on the Midway. It's... You know, if it wasn't this, it would be more chores, and so, I mean, it, it's a good way to put puzzles, uh, you know, into the game, which works, because you would have midways at a, at a normal carnival. So it feels like they're not forcing puzzles into... I assume there's going to be an easy mode if you if I was playing this game as a not as a senior detective. That was pretty easy. Um let's see here. I have to move this like that. Yeah, no no, I have to move that. There we go. Sorry, I'm thinking while I'm moving pieces and it's faster for me just to think. Okay, so to get this out of the way, I'm going to have to move these barrels out of the way. We have to move these left, this this here. But how am I going to handle this this oil slick? Move the oil slick slick like that. Why is it called Swimmer's Itch? I don't know, but it's it's definitely you, you see this game. It's it's a, a somewhat common mini mini game that you just uh, it's it's the slider thing. Get your piece all the way to the left. Time to play Squid Toss. In case you were wondering, you have two fun credits left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop. Oh yeah, no, in real life. In real life, it would be, uh, this would not be super fun because, you know, you, do you want to play video games that you can play at any other place? Or do you want to go on a roller coaster? You'd rather have a roller coaster than, than play silly mini games like this. Wow, that was way too much. I'm kind of surprised that was a fail. Ahoy, matey! Welcome to the Squid Toss! After this, you'll just have one fun credit left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop. But yeah, the the, the for um this I think it's unnecessary to say that we it was unnecessary to give us this limit of five credits because then then you'll uh, generally run out of one and then that will be sad. Okay, let's see. Um, that's not too far to the right. Let's go with dolphin here. Dolphin power. Okay, and this is obviously going to be whale power, and it's going to be two to the right. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Yeah, 
Well, Paula's gonna be mad if she sees me playing with the games. How about a game of Squid Toss? Uh-oh. You are using your last fun credit, so I'm keeping your card. But that's no problem. Just get a new one. Catapult the squid through the hoop. It costs $10 to get a, a card. Arr, arr. Give me your money. Sadly, very realistic for, for uh, one of these places. Well, we get all the prizes anyway, so let's go with, uh, uh, I think we need, we need to get the harmonica, and we need to get this one. So let's just get it. And all the other, all the other prizes are just optional. Uh, the other two hmm. prizes are optional. I should say, these two prizes are optional. You can get the rubber shark if you really, really want to. Yeah, and there's never any reason, I mean, uh, there's no reason to really return to the midway. Now that we've gotten the prizes, we got the prizes, so we're good, we're good. We're gonna get a, a new Hey thing Nancy, from what's up? Does the phrase, silvery remains of a four-bit day, ring any bells with you? Huh? Uh, never mind. I seem to have used up all the fun on my fun pass. Did you say I could get another one? I certainly did. Here you go. Enjoy. So it's just five, five games, and then all of a sudden you can't use your fun card anymore. I'll see you around. Have fun. So, Elliot, let's see if we can ask Ingrid for, uh, about the puzzle. Elliot's the one who knows the answer. Hello, Nancy. Still on the case, I see. This is going to sound like a really odd question, but if someone asked you to get him the silvery remains of a four-bit day, what would you do? Same thing any normal person would do. Ask him what the heck he was talking about. Right. <clears throat> <laughs> I got your soldering gun from Elliot and fixed that card reader. Does he borrow your tools a lot? Very rarely. He's not exactly a mechanical genius. How well do you know Elliot Chen? Not very. But I've noticed he has a very strange aura. Very dark around the edges. Odd for an artist. But then, it's nowhere near as dark as Joy's. Her aura's a mess. Why do you think that is? She's hiding something. And she's hiding from something. Something very big and very dark. Plus, she eats way too many carbs. <laughs> to say nothing of pencils. Thanks for your help. One open mind sees more than two open eyes. She's got a dark aura around her. I can sense the darkness creeping inside her, turning her over to the dark side. Nancy, you're a procrastinator's dream, know that? Come in, ask me questions. Ask me lots of questions. I know you're busy, but I was hoping you could maybe help me solve a riddle. If I asked you for the silvery remains of a four-bit day, what would you give me? A riddle? I love riddles. Okay, let's see. Silvery remains has to be something silver that's left over, right? Okay, now, if two-bit means worth a quarter, four-bit would mean worth two quarters. Quarters. Captain's Quarters, maybe? The hotel adjacent to the park? Captain's Quarters Day. Day, spelled D-A-E, as in Sunday. That's it. There's this fantastic Sunday you can get only at the hotel. They call it a fun day. It's been their specialty for, like, centuries. Comes with a souvenir spoon. Silvery, as in spoon, get it? Elliot, you're a genius! Next riddle, come on. I'm on a roll, baby. I'm in a groove. Bring it on. I'll let you get back to work. If you must. And, uh, yeah, let's get that Sunday. Yum, yum, yum. I want to order a cheeseburger, too, though. Let's order a cheeseburger as well. Hotel operator, what do you want? Are you the regular operator? I'm filling in for my cousin Amber. She took the week off on account of the amusement park being shut down. You don't want an outside line, do you? Actually, I have a cell phone. Good. Use it. An outside line will cost you an arm and a leg. Besides, I'm not sure how to get you one. So, Miss Aaron, what do you want? Uh, that's Drew. Nancy Drew? Sorry, my cousin's handwriting reeks. So 
But what do you want, Miss Drew? I'd like to order the hamburger platter with milk instead of a soft drink. One hamburger platter with moo juice. It'll be there in a few. Anything else? Nancy's trying to be healthy by ordering milk. Thanks, Nancy. That's it. Thanks a lot. No prob. It is kind of funny how Elliot's like, oh, I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. I answered one, one riddle, and he didn't really answer all the riddle. It... Hmm. He messed up the part about the four-bit thing, right? Uh, the silvery remains of a four-bit day. Um, okay, so four-bit is what? 50 cents, right? So, um... A four-bit day, right? I don't know where the four-bit comes into play. Hmm. Hotel operator, what do you want? I'd like to order a fun day, please. 2,480 calories worth of sheer heaven plus one official fun day silver dance bone coming right up. Anything else? That's it. Thanks a lot. Saving you has been a pleasure. It has been my pleasure, too. That looks yummy. I want a Sunday. <gasps> that was so good. Captain's Cove, New Jersey. Yeah, I don't know. That's got to be left over from Nancy's burger, right? That big pile of ketchup, because that's clearly not from her uh, her Sunday. That would be weird if it was from her Sunday. Yeah, two thousand four hundred and eighty calories. So that's more than the recommended daily amount in just one Sunday. Any luck? That is a very tiny Sunday to have that much, that 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 many calories. I'm pretty sure Miles wants us to bring him the souvenir spoon you get when you order a fun day Sunday at the captain's quarters. I have one right here. Give it to Miles and see what happens. Lay it on me. Wait, that's it. Captain's quarters. Quarters. Two quarters is uh, um, four bits. Two quarters is four bits. That's captain's quarters. That's where it comes. So we can bake. Easy bake oven. And we get a kind of a better look at... Um, uh, we still can't tell if he's plugged into the wall or not. I don't know if he operates on batteries. Sorry. I can't tell. I'll have a sundae with ketchup instead of the hot fudge. Yes, that's what Nancy ordered. Way to go, Nancy. <laughs> Poor Nancy. Does the ketchup the take away the complete. calories? The object is correct. Your mother used to take you for a sundae at the captain's quarters almost every week. Do you remember, Joy? The Captain's Quarters Fun Day. I do remember that. I was so small, I always had to sit on my mother's lap to eat it. I wish I could remember what she looked like. Your mom probably shouldn't have been letting you eat those Sundays if they were that unhealthy. Um, yeah. Don't you have a picture of her? You were very little when your mother died, Joy. Your grief came out as anger. Before your father could stop you, you destroyed every picture of your mother that he had. I did that? No, my father told me he had gotten rid of them. He always said some things are better left forgotten. Oh my gosh, I'm the reason I have nothing to remember her by. I'm sure your father helped you shut out the truth in order to spare your feelings. The older your father got, Joy, the more he realized that life is nothing but memories. He realized that even bad memories have a place in a good life. That is why he invented Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Here is the second riddle. This one is written down. Please remove it. What happened to the spoon? We put the spoon inside and the spoon disappeared. It's just a blank piece of paper. You and your mother used to love to play this game. Joy. Once again, I have no idea what he's talking about. You know, some of the things your father wants you to remember may be pretty painful. Are you sure you want to go on? If you still want to help me, please, Nancy, keep going. I feel like a door somewhere is starting to creak open. I'm kind of scared to open it, but I also kind of know I have to. Do you ever talk to the other people who are working during the shutdown? I'm not very good at socializing. I couldn't even tell you what any of them look like, quite frankly. Wow. I go to work, I work, I go home. That's pretty much my life. What I'll get back to you as home? soon as I can. Thanks, Nancy. What do you do at home? You have a life at home, right? What do you do at home? I don't know. 
In any case, let's burn down the hotel. People want to see me burn down the hotel. So what you're supposed to do is just turn on the iron, and this is how we iron. We get a message. It seems weird that Joy's dad did set up this giant The first puzzle. eight notes of your favorite band organ tune, plus one mouth organ, plus one smidgen of talent, equals one happy miles. Like, he basically set up the scavenger hunt with puzzles for her to solve, and she doesn't even like trying to solve puzzles. She doesn't even want to try to solve them. So, it, it feels like maybe Dad didn't know that Joy hates puzzles, because I, I, I can't explain it otherwise. And fire. Hello? This is Paula Santos. I'm standing outside what's left of the Captain's Quarters Hotel. What happened? Well, according to the fire marshal, someone left an iron on in your room and burned the place down. Oh no, I forgot to turn it off. You're at an amusement park, not a formal dance. What on earth were you ironing? A piece of paper. A what? No, never mind, I don't want to hear it. When I asked you to come out here, I expected to pay for your room, not the entire hotel. Consider yourself off the case. Oh, poor Nancy. Fired again. Fired for a real reason this time, and not like, what, you tried to solve the mystery? You're fired, Nancy. <laughs> I'm gonna order another Sunday. thank you. Hotel operator, like what do you been, want? It could have been anybody who set the fire in Nancy's room, doesn't mean it was Nancy. I'd like to order a fun day, please. Another fun day, huh? Anything else? That's it. Thanks a lot. Saving you has been a pleasure. Another fun day, huh? Okay. Yummy. Mm. Do I keep the spoon? Okay, Nancy's just gonna have a huge collection of spoons, I bet, from now on. Okay, so uh, where was I? We, we go back to Joy to solve this mystery. Any luck? There was a message written in lemon juice on that piece of paper Miles gave us. We're to play the first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune on a mouth organ for Miles. My favorite band organ tune? I don't even know what a band organ is. Or a mouth organ either, for that matter. I'm not sure what they are either. The music you hear when you ride the Captain's Cove Carousel comes from the band organ that sits inside the rider platform. And the mouth organ is a harmonica. You used to play the harmonica for your mother all the time, Joy. Your favorite tune was the one you heard on the carousel. It couldn't have been. I never rode the carousel. I always thought it was stupid. I thought all the rides in the park were stupid. If you can't remember anything, this is going to be impossible. I have been programmed to give you one hint. The tune is on the third roll. You will have to think about this one. End of hint. <sighs> it's all yours, Detective. As usual, I'm stumped. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You're the greatest. Aw, she likes me now. I don't know why. Oh, I mean, I am trying to help her, but still. Yeah, Nancy can order as many fun days as she wants. That's just the way this game is set up. You can order many, many, many fun days. I'm not sure why, but that's that's the, the case. You, you saw we can't order burgers. We can't order as many burgers as we want. Uh, once you order all the burger, once you order the burger once, it's gone forever. But once you order a Sunday, it stays. Guess forever. I'm gonna have to call Tink, whoever he is. This looks a little like the inside of my aunt's player piano. Hooray! I wonder what goes on this spool. Something's missing here. That's right. We don't have uh, we don't have the rule yet. Uh oh. And unless I'm mistaken, we've got like a, a couple of things we can see here. We've got the possible death sequence. <sighs> Time to start crawling. This goes to the space underneath the carousel. I don't think this is a death sequence where I get yelled at. Wonder what that is. If I don't move, I'm gonna get skewered. It's just skewering. Yeah. Ouch. Painful. Wonder what that is. If I don't move, I'm gonna get skewered. 
So this device, it's an electronic device. It's used to turn on the carousel remotely. I knew the carousel wasn't haunted. There's something up there. Looks like a letter. Nancy sees this letter. We're going to knock it down with this. Oh, and here's another storyline. My dearest Amelia, I just completed the fifth horse. This is the guy who made all these horses back in 1913. So, there was a door to Kessler's workshop by the radiator in the ballroom. Yes, yes, that's very important information to know. We can find it. Let's see, let's let's actually do that right now. Um, or not, we need to call Tink, right? Let's just call Tink. Let's see what my buddy Tink has to say. Let's tinker around with him. Yeah, yeah, this is Tink. Yes, hello. My name is Nancy Drew. I never heard of you. Yes, I know. I'm trying to help Ms. Santos figure out what caused the roller coaster accident that shut down Captain's Cove. So why are you calling me? I run the carousel. I don't know from coasters. Well, to make a long story short, I need to find out the name of the band organ song that's on the third roll. What for? That's kind of where the long story part comes in. I haven't got time for long stories. Besides, how do I know you even know Miss Santos? Okay, to get your number, I had to get the band organ open, right? And to get the band organ open, I had to have an access card. And to get an access card... You'd have to know Ms. Santos. Yeah, 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 I get your point. Problem is, I got no idea what song's on the third roll. Only way you're gonna find out is to play it. Where is the third roll? It's in the cabinet in the gear room. You mean the one that's locked? 18, 9, 39. That's a combination. Oh, and one more thing. You're gonna have a problem when you go to load the roll on account of... Holy moly! I either snagged a greyhound bus or the biggest fish in the Shaplow River is right here on the end of my line! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I gotta go! Yeah, Nancy really convinced him, uh... Convinced him, uh, very quickly. If you if you select the other option, you say, hey, I could call Miss Santos. He's like, I'm not calling my boss while I'm on vacation. Eh. So he, he gives up rather easily, uh, either way. I mean, obviously, couldn't Nancy have gotten his phone number from somewhere else? Like, a phone book, maybe? Let's see. Miles said the song is on the third roll. This must be it. So let's see, I need to... Ooh, and this is the dead uh, carousel. Or stolen carousel, it's not dead. We open up this. Open up this. We put the the take up thing dowel on. is broken. Oh, and it's broken. Oh, we need to take up the take up dowel. Cool. So we're done with that. Um, I forget what I was going to do. Yes, yes, yes. The um, the uh. What Hello. Was this? Hi, Nancy. Hey, it's, KJ it's Paris. Detective Paris. I got you some back. preliminary info on that jewel thief. You know Chaz Dunning? Great. Let's hear it. Okay. Before he died, he got to be real good buddies with his cellmate at New Jersey State Prison. And his cellmate was paroled less than two months ago. Do you know the guy's name? Well, apparently he's used a lot of aliases. The guy I talked to wasn't sure which name he was released under, but he did give me a description. Dark hair, medium build, clean shaven, heavy Jersey accent. Like I said, I'm still in the process of making calls. I just thought I'd let you know what I had so far. Thanks, Detective. You've been a big help. Oh, and that's another storyline. Yeah, let's do that storyline. So that sounds just like Harlan Bishop. Harlan Bishop? Oh my, we're gonna call Paula and tell her, ooh, Paula, Harlan might be an ex-con culprit. Santos. Hi, Paula. Nancy, what's going on? I found an old letter in the gear room of the carousel. It was written by Rolf Kessler. Really? Don't lose it. I'd like to take a look at it. Kessler was quite a character. The letter said he had a workshop under the ballroom. Is there a ballroom somewhere in the park? Actually, the ballroom was made into the haunted house about 40 years ago. So Kessler had a workshop under there. It was probably destroyed during the renovation. 
At least I've never heard anyone say anything about it. If it is still there, I'm sure there's nothing in it but cobwebs a mile thick. Do you know who Tink is? Sure. Tink Obermeyer. Operates the carousel. Real protective of it. When it was vandalized, it almost broke his heart. Loves the band organ, too. Right now, he's up in Canada fishing. Paul's actually being rather nice here. What can you tell me about the people working at the park during the shutdown? I frankly don't know any of my employees that well. I'm a very hands-off kind of boss. I believe in hiring the best, then stepping aside and letting them do their best. Can you tell me anything about any of them? Hmm. Well, let's see. Ingrid Corey is extremely competent and has no problems managing the maintenance staff. Although... It is kind of funny. Like, Nancy's in the middle of New Jersey. Oh, wait, the culprit's somebody with a, a, a New Jersey accent? It's got to be Harlan! There's literally nobody else in this state who it could be! She seems to have some pretty expensive tastes. Exactly. But to each his or her own. So, where was I? There's Harlan Bishop, very conscientious. Elliot Chen, very talented, but a very slow worker. And Joy Trent, very, well, Joy is hard to describe. I understand you and her father used to be business partners. I've yet to meet a man who was as terrific with people and as horrible with money as Daryl Trent was. He stayed afloat for 30 years on sheer charisma, I swear. Did he have any other children? Joy is an only child. Daryl worried about her constantly, always said she didn't laugh enough. Unfortunately, two years ago, he pretty much stopped laughing too. His bad investments caught up with him. He sold everything he could, but still wound up drowning in debt. Till one day in bankruptcy court, he just keeled over and died of a heart attack. How did Joy take it? I really couldn't tell you. She has never said one word to me about her father, ever. Yeah, it's like we ask Paula, could you tell me a bit about your employees? And then she just trash talks every single person in the park. Yeah, so I always hire the best, and apparently I hate all my employees too. I always hire the best! That's why I brought in a random high school teenager to investigate this crime. When will the insurance company be sending someone out to investigate the roller coaster accident? Every time I call, I get the same thing. Someone will be out soon. Which is why I'd really like you to take a look, Nancy. No telling when they'll get around to it. I'll be in touch. I'll be waiting. Either way, Nancy's the best. You're the best. You're the best. No one's ever gonna keep you down. You're the best. You're the best around. All right, break time. You sure you don't mind? Are you kidding? As long as you're here, I have a legitimate reason for not working. I don't mind one iota. I need to make a dowel to replace this broken one from the band organ. Would it be all right if I used your equipment? I won't make a mess, I promise. Sure. Got a lathe, wooden rods, safety goggles? Knock yourself out. I gotta go run an errand, though, so try not to cut off any appendages until I get back. Okay, he is gone. Now let's see if we can look at this artwork behind him. That's a Poppy Dada. Aw, it's another Poppy Dada painting. Oh, cool. Looks just like a window. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing all day. That doesn't look like work to me. Oh, and he's got... Tails. Those look like horse tails. Horse tails. Woo. Every day I'm out there making horse tails. Not pony tails. Well, actually, pony tails, horse tails. Woohoo! So it's um three to three to eleven, and then a little bit on twelve. I think is the solution. Let's take on these goggles. It's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. Don't do that, it's a game over sequence. Okay, what do I do here? I zoom in here. Okay, now I put it, so it was three to 12. And I think it has to be, like we turn it off all the way. No, it's three to 11, that was it. Quite 11 yet, so let's go here. 
and then here at 12, I don't know um, how much I do. I don't know if it's one or two, so I'm going to do number one. That looks perfect. Okay, great. And if number one didn't work, I was going to do number two. Better leave these goggles two. here. But uh, number one worked perfectly, so great. Hmm, if Elliot wrote this guy's number down, maybe I should too. Like Professor Kessler. Yeah, that definitely looks like something a professor would do as a, as a, as a photo shoot. Just... So that was going to be... Uh, uh, that's a puzzle for uh, later on in the game. And can I grab some tape here? You never know when you might need some tape. Great, I'm grabbing that tape so I don't have to do it later on. Yeah, Nancy is single-handedly fixing the entire park. Nancy is amazing. People are asking, you know, how is this park still in business if half of it is shut down? Well, in, in their defense, the park is completely shut down right now. So I presume, uh, you know, if it wasn't shut down, that all these places would actually be working. They're just uh, using the shutdown as an excuse to repair everything. I think. Uh, either that or it, it's just a convenient excuse for uh, we're, we're programming this video game and that way we don't have to have a lot of characters and crowds or our, our things. That's why everything's broken. Something. I get those notes again. A E D E F A E. So I just need to do the first eight notes. I think that's it. I wonder if the game lets you uh, play any of the other um, other ones. Other ones. We'll come back here uh, afterwards later. I'll see if we can try to put one of the other. Uh, also, really weird that they have two different, uh, two different uh, Ferris wheels in this park. I always thought that was weird. And what's this? Is that supposed to be the midway there? I don't know. I guess we have to Any talk luck? to Joy to trigger this. I think we're all set. I know the tune, and I've got a harmonica. Play it for Miles and see what happens. My oral sensors are ready. Suck it to me. What oral sensors? <laughs> I did it wrong. Close, but no cigar. Let me try again. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, oh, come on. Okay, so let me let me try again. Let me try again. People have said in the uh, in the chat, so it's A E D E F E A E. Hooray! I remember oh, okay. that song. D -C -B -A. I did dun, ride the dun, carousel dun, 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 over dun, and dun, over dun. and over. Always the same horse. Always the same black horse. You love the carousel, and you loved one horse in particular. It was not the lead horse, and it was not spectacular, but you loved it, Joy. What was its name? I can't remember. Oh no, it's interesting that hearing that song just jogs her memory so well. Is the name important? I am not programmed to continue unless and until you remember the name of that horse. You loved it so much. That your mother bought it for you. She was the one who bought the horse off the carousel? Then I know the name. Glory. Glory. That's right. Glory. My mother gave him to me for my birthday. My fourth birthday. She died in a car accident that very night. How awful. No wonder you forgot how much you love the carousel. It would have reminded you of your mother. I hated the park after my mother died. I hated the carousel. And I hated that horse. 
I blamed it for what happened to my mother. I had my father destroy it. But your father did not destroy it. Instead, he stored it. He hoped that someday, with the help of... Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine! You would come to terms with your past. And because that is what you are doing, here is the third and final riddle. Ask Tink for the book you and I used to read about Kessler and Amelia so kind. Give her nickname a spin on spook number ten. Then the brass prize arrange on its forearm so strange. And something long lost and cherished you'll find. Yep. Uh, we could call Tink. Do you want to do this together? We're in the home stretch. What do you say we do the rest of this together? No. Nancy, I did something terrible. I turned the power off to the roller coaster and caused the accident that shut down the park. I blamed Miss Santos for my father's death, just like I blamed that horse for what happened to my mother. I feel horrible. Keep going without me, Nancy. I have to go see Miss Santos and apologize. Alrighty, so that's it. It would be rude to use my phone now. It would be rude to use my phone now. Uh, okay, so we need, um, the carousel horse, uh, ring. But we also need to call, um, Sukov. Uh, this guy, he, you know, he, his number was in Elliot's book, magazine. So he'll tell Sukoff. us the My name the, is Nancy Drew. I saw the article you wrote about Rolf Kessler in the collector's hot sheet magazine. That was several months back, but go on. Well, seeing as you're pretty much an expert on Kessler as well as carousels, I was hoping you could answer a question for me. I'd be delighted. Would you happen to know the nickname Rolf Kessler gave his wife, Amelia? Of course I do. At least, I thought I did. It was an Austrian term of endearment, rather common. Oh, come on, Anton, think. Spazi! That was it. Spazi! S-P-A-T-Z-I. He always called her Spatsy. Did you by any chance hear about the horse that was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove Amusement Park in New Jersey? It was one of the carousels that Kessler carved. Yes, I did, and I thought, how odd. Because, you see, I'd gotten a call from someone about a month prior to that asking me how much I thought one of those horses would be worth. Really? Do you have any idea who it was that called? None whatsoever. He never gave me his name, nor did he say where he was calling from. The thought that I may have actually encouraged someone to mutilate a work of art. Oh, no. Oh. How much would a horse from a Kessler carousel be worth? Depending on its condition, whether it's an inside horse or an outside horse, whether it's the lead horse, anywhere from 80000 to well over $100,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is, but Kessler carved horses for only five carousels in his lifetime. So not only is each horse exquisitely beautiful, but it's very rare, especially if it's the lead horse. The lead horse? The outside horse, just behind the chariot, the place where you can sit instead of ride. It's traditionally the most ornately carved horse on the carousel, hence the most valuable. Did you hear about how the carousel at Captain's Cove is now allegedly haunted because one of the horses was stolen? <laughs> yes, what a wonderfully romantic piece of nonsense. Are any of Kessler's other carousels thought to be haunted? No, the one at Captain's Cove is a first. But I think I know what's going on. Someone wants publicity. Whoever stole the horse wants people to know that it's gone so that when he or she goes to sell it, there will be a whole slew of eager buyers. But we're talking about stolen property. Are you saying people would willingly buy something they know was stolen? We're talking about the black market, my dear. Great works of art get stolen by thieves and bought by less than scrupulous collectors all the time. If someone did steal that horse off the carousel in order to make money off of it, what would be his or her next move? How would they go about selling it? Well, the thief would probably get a middleman to set up a bidding war between several buyers in order to get the highest price. The internet comes in very handy in such matters. Thanks for all the info. Always happy to share my mental wealth. Sounds good. Okay, and we needed to get the uh, ring, so let's get the ring here. Let's go for a spin on the carousel! By the way, you have four fun credits left on your card. Enjoy the ride! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh no, and YouTube's saying that my uh, 
stream that is dead. That cursor will be oh, stuck in really three seconds. So hang on tight. And don't forget to try for the brass ring. Yeehaw! Ooh. Yeah. Let's see if I can do this. Nancy needs it Here to comes be. The brass Nancy ring. does not know Get that ready. people in the black market steal Shoot. Uh -huh. stolen goods. Okay, great. Yay, the stream is not dead for people. Yeehaw, yeehaw, yeehaw. Here it comes again. Oh, really? Oh, I'm terrible at this. Nancy's just terrible at getting the brass ring. And Nancy picks the same carousel horse every single time, I've noticed. You're about to experience the Captain's Cove Carousel. In case you were wondering, you have three fun credits left on your card. Enjoy the ride! Yeah, seriously, Nancy should be able to walk to the ring the and carousel just pick it will up, be starting that's in three cheating. seconds, so hang on tight! And don't forget to try for the brass ring! Nancy is not a cheater. Nancy would not cheat that way. Do, 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 do. I wonder if that's another cool ride. Like there are Here other rides the you don't get to see or play with. Got it. Okay, there we go. Hold your mouse on the right hand side of the screen and then use that basically against the right hand wall as opposed to holding it here where you might have fallen off. Here it comes again. Yeah, the only carousel I've seen in real life which does the, the brass ring thing, instead of having the brass ring far away, they just have it high up. So basically only adults can reach the, uh, the brass ring. That's how they uh, prevent people from falling off. Nobody falls off to get the brass ring because the brass ring is just above you, not to, uh, not to the side of you. So it was 39... I forget what it was. 39,919... Eh. I don't remember the combination, so I guess we won't actually see if Nancy can switch the, uh... Hi, Starlight! If Nancy can switch the, uh, rolls. Let's see... Um... It was 18... 939. Thank you! Okay, we'll see. Let's see. I want to see if they, they have some cool other songs. Or if they only program the one. Ah, uh, Nancy can't pick up any of the other rules. Okay. Darn. Well, we can only listen to the one rule then. So where was I? I needed spook number 10's arm, right? But spook number 10 doesn't have an arm. Unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, Spook number 10 doesn't have Looks an like arm. Spook 10. It's been red tagged. And it's been red tagged, so we're gonna have to see uh, Ingrid about that. And I believe we can press this button here, right? Maybe? No. Not yet. So let's go see Ingrid. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. She's not here? It's locked. What? Then let's see Harlan. Is he not here either? Jeez. Okay, so 10, 11, 90 is the number for his thing. Lewis G. G. 
Wonder who that is. Oh, the Best way to find officer. out is to yeah, call him. That's it. And two for one at Bonanza Burger. That's that's a good deal. Uh, let's see. There's the book that was from the final scene. Brady was reading it. Wonder what's on here. Uh, I'll just play it and find out. Oh, okay. I'll just 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 figure this out. Yeah. I like how some things Nancy's reluctant about stealing, and then other things she's totally like, Oh, okay, I'll just take it. It looks like Harlan's been spying on Ingrid. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to what that number was. I better put this back where I found it. I'll watch it again. Kind of hear that the carousel song in the background. That's pretty cool. And we might as well call um call the parole officer. State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. I'm sorry. What did you say? I said, State Board of Parole, Luis Guerra's office. Okay. You mean Mr. Guerra works with people who've just been released from prison? That's correct. But he's out of the office right now. Would you like to leave a message? Maybe you can help me. Do you know if he has a client named Harlan Bishop? Yes, he does. Is Harlan up to something he shouldn't be? I didn't say that. But when was he paroled? Do you know? You're going to have to wait and ask Mr. Guerra that question. What was the name? Nancy Drew. My number is 523-555-4399. That's my cell phone. He can call me anytime. I'll let him know. Thank you. Okay, and we'll try to do the uh, Easter egg when we're here, because the Easter egg is pretty cool. So here we can... Call LH about results. L.H. Lance Huffington, maybe? Lots of phone calls we can make. Yep. And then we can also um, see that she's got a ton of money. A very, very expensive gold watch. Wow, that's one expensive watch. $22,000 paid in cash? How does she have that much cash on her? Yeah. Wow. But we can't, like, mess with her computer or anything like that or go through those drawers. That seems a little strange, though. That that part does seem a little strange. Looks like we can't visit any of the other areas, like that tool cabinet. So upper left corner, someone said. Upper left corner here. Hello? You have been chosen to be the lucky winner of a valuable prize. But first, you must answer this very important question to win. I'm ready. What is the capital of Wisconsin? Type your answer onto the screen using your keyboard. Madison. That is correct. Congratulations, felicitations. Good job. For your efforts, wit, grace, and general aptitude, we are pleased to present you with a brand new Easter egg. Woohoo! We got the Easter egg. Okay, so the Easter egg gets used um, in Elliot's studio. Hello? Hi, it's Paula. Just thought I'd check in, see how you're doing. Actually, I'm kind of glad you called. Why? What's going on? I'm afraid I've discovered something kind of disturbing about Harlan. What, that he's an ex-con? I know. That was a very well-designed uh, input screen, too. It's just, oh, oh, yeah. How long have you known? It was the first thing out of his mouth when he applied for the job. He said being an outstanding security guard would prove to everyone once and for all that he's gone straight. I also found out that he used a security camera to get the code to Ingrid's work area. And he fits the description of the jewel thief cellmate that Detective Paris gave me. Oh, now that's disturbing. But I'm still going to give Harlan the benefit of the doubt until I have good reason not to. I appreciate your bringing this to my attention, though. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Let's finish with the Easter egg stuff, though, first. Use the Easter egg to open up this box. May I help you? Sorry, bad habit. Hmm. 
to see if that actually counts. Use your egg as a cursor to open the box in Elliot's studio. I don't know if that counts. I'm not sure if we can do that <clears> because <throat> Elliot's Sorry. right here. Hmm. I don't know. So then let's try use it on the on the midway games. That's the other place where we're allegedly supposed to be able to use this Easter egg. Will so let's Nancy do it. please report immediately to the security office? And by immediately, I mean don't even think about doing anything else. Oh no, storylines are. I better go to Harland. He sounds mad. Yeah, you probably should, Nancy. But I wanted to, I wanted to, to to, to do the Easter egg. Okay, fine. We're doing this Harland stuff. Okay. I just got off the phone with Miss Santos. Where do you get off telling her I'm some kind of jewel thieving peeping Tom? I'm sorry, but I thought she had a right to know what I know. You don't know Zip. I had Ow. nothing to do with the theft of that carousel horse. Just because I did time doesn't mean I'm guilty of every crime that comes down the pike, you know? It's just that when I found out you'd been spying on some of your co-workers... I wasn't spying on them. I just... I really think that to do my job right, I should be able to go anywhere in the park. You know, in case of emergencies. Okay, so maybe I'm trying a little too hard. Maybe people's entry codes should be off limits. It's just that this job means everything to me. I don't want to screw it up. I guess I was a little overzealous too. I I'm really sorry. I'll see you around. I don't know. I don't know, man, Harlan. I, 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 hmm. Sorry. I don't feel like talking right now. My back's kind of sore, probably because somebody just got done stabbing me there. Oh, I always like that insult. Uh, I was spying, but I was doing it for a good reason, so it doesn't count. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll say when the police ask. Okay, so I use my Easter egg here. This is Nancy. Hi, it's me. Hi, Nancy. Uh, how's it going? Uh, why are you calling? Well, I'm at Rose's right now in San Francisco, and I can't figure out where to find the key to the attic. Oh, that's easy. It's in the old cash register in the basement. Ah, okay, that'll help. You're awesome. No, you are awesome. <laughs> well, I gotta run. Got a case to solve, you know. Say hi to Charlie for me. Will do. Good luck. And <laughs> Nancy calls the Nancy from, uh, oh yeah, that's definitely a, a, another rider game. Yeah, yeah, Nancy, Nancy calls the, the other Nancy from the other game. It's pretty cool. Although I find it weird that past Nancy says, say hi to Charlie for me. Shouldn't that be something present Nancy is saying to past Nancy? So game three Nancy is in fact the culprit to this game. Confirmed. Confirmed. So let's see, uh, uh, we're, we're getting near the end of the game, so let's just call everybody. Captain's Cove Police Station. Detective Paris, please. Hang on. Hi, Nancy. Nothing new at this end. What have you got? Oh. How much do you know about Daryl Trent? You know, the guy who used to be the co-owner of Captain's Cove? Paula's former business partner? I met him a couple of times. Real friendly guy. Young at heart. More of a kid than most kids. I kind of think that's what killed him, you know? His body just got too old for his soul. Did you ever meet his daughter? I didn't even know she existed until Paula mentioned she'd hired her. Thanks, Detective. You've been a big help. Just doing my job. Let's see. Um, people wanted to hear me call. Oh, well, yeah, Lance Huffington. Let's call Lance Huffington. And let's call the Hardy Boys, too. Talk to me. That yes, way we've hi. talked to everybody um, in the game. Is this Lance Huffington? You betcha. Who's this? Well, I'm Nancy Drew. I work with Ingrid Corey. I'm kind of her unofficial assistant here at the park. She tells me everything. Oh, yeah? She asked me to call you for a status report. Everything's great. Her plan worked. I'm glad she shared it with me. Life's good. <laughs> at least it will be when the trial's over and the settlement's in the bank. Whoa, speaking of which, I gotta go. I'm due in court. What'd you say your name was? Uh, Nancy. Well, Nancy, next time you call me, you could very well be talking to a multi-millionaire. Ta-ta. Bye. This guy is kind of creepy. Yeah, he is kind of creepy. Okay, let's see what the Hardys are up to here. Lance is a charmer, yeah. Hello? Hey, Frank, it's Nancy. Hey, Joe, pick up. Actually, he may not want to talk to you. Why not? Because you get to solve a mystery at an amusement park. 
He's so jealous he could spit. Hi, this is Joe. Hey, Joe, it's Nancy. I don't want to talk to you. What did I tell you? Oh, I'm just kidding. Pardon me for a second. I gotta go spit. Quit fooling around, Joe. She's calling long distance, remember? Sorry. So what's going on? Don't the Hardy Boys live in New Jersey? It's like Bayport, New Jersey. I think that's where they live. It's, it's, it's really close to New York. That's why there's all so many cases in New York. Any suggestions as to my next move? Check out the thing in Joy's office that's black and white and red all over. There's an embarrassed zebra in Joy's office? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, we should call him Spitzy, though. <laughs> Any suggestions as to my next move? Check out the thing in Joy's office that's black and white and red all over. There's an embarrassed zebra in Joy's office? I better get going. Let us know what happens. Okay, I'm being told Bayport is on Long Island, which is different. Yay! That's uh, close to New York, though, right? 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 I don't know what I'm doing next. I've totally forgotten. Um, we need to find the arm of spook number 10. Right. So, maybe Ingrid is here now? Hello, Nancy. How goes it? I understand that you know the man who got hurt in that roller coaster accident, Lance Huffington? I, I've talked to him. I don't really know him. What did you talk to him about? Look, what are you getting at? I was just wondering if maybe you and he are in cahoots. Are you suggesting that he and I planned the accident? He gets on the coaster, I shut off the power, he cries whiplash and gives me half of whatever he gets from the lawsuit? Interesting theory. Unfortunately, it's totally wrong. I called him to tell him to rub his neck three times a day with witch hazel and lavender. If his neck is really injured, that will cure it. Why are you so eager to accuse me of something? It's in my aura. What about Lance's aura? Could you tell us about that? Are you really going to tell me that you can afford a $20,000 gold watch on the salary you earn working here at the park? All right. I have been making money on the side, but it's not what you think. I've been helping someone design a roller coaster. I even let him borrow the blueprints for our coaster so he could study them, not steal them. I kept it secret because it could be construed as conflict of interest. This guy knows I'm taking a risk, so he pays me very well. Now, your turn. It's obvious that you've been nosing around in here. How did you get in? It is definitely a conflict of interest. If he's going out of his way to pay you in cash and keep it a secret, that just makes it seem even more suspicious. Someone made a tape of you entering your security code into the keypad outside, which I just happened to see. Harlan. I knew it bugged him that this place was off limits, but spying on me? That guy's got a real problem. As for you, I'd appreciate it if you would kindly remove your nice and deficient little self from my office. I have work to do. It's also kind of strange that she has such an expensive watch and she just hides it here in her office. That's very strange. Oh, uh, and yeah, what ride would this be for? That, that would be one of, this is obviously a spinning teacups ride. Um, I don't know what ride that would be. Maybe another spinning ride? And this looks like some other sort of coaster because that doesn't look like a, a bumper car. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? And she is not mad at me anymore. I found something underneath the carousel that looks like it might be a remote control device. Oh, I'd like to see it. Interesting. I looked under there. Wonder how I missed it. May I have this? Actually, I'd kind of like to keep it. Suit yourself. There's a dummy in the haunted house that's been red tagged. It's missing an arm. Any chance it'll be up and running again in the near future? Got the arm right here. Just needed a battery. That's one of the dummies Joy Trent's father created. Probably why the circuitry is so bizarre. It works, though, so just reattach it. You'll need pliers. Oh, and don't forget to take the red tag back to Spy Master Bishop. Thanks for your help. No big deal. Fantastic. So, uh, she just gives us the pliers. That's nice. Oh, uh, yeah, this could be for the, the Ferris wheel. That's right. That's a good, that's a good idea. Let's see, what do I do? Um, Joy's not here anymore, is she? Yeah, she's not. Okay. I am Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine! Thanks, Miles. You're wonderful. Yeah, you're supposed to have the, the pliers in a, a death sequence here. Unless I'm mistaken. I guess I did things out of order.
That looks tight enough. Yes, it does. I need to take this red tag back to Harlan. Yeah, you saw. I tried to go in here and then use the, uh... Use, use this... Use this thing to create something. Here it is. This is where I'm supposed to use it. It's locked. But somebody gives that key uh, randomly to Harlan, right? And then, uh, yeah, somebody gives the key to Harlan. And then Nancy can use that. Yeah, that's how this works. That's how the storyline works. So yeah, that's a ghost shark. Ghost sharks are very, very cool. Sorry, I don't feel like talking oh, right now. Talk My me. back's kind of sore. Probably because somebody just got done stabbing me there. Hey, Nance. What's going on? I noticed you have a poppy dada. We met at an art show last year. She insisted I take that piece home with me. She'd never admit it, but she thinks I'm hot. Yeah, I don't know about that. I found this strange hidden door in the haunted house. Problem is, it's locked. Do you have any idea what's behind it? Ask Joy. That nutty professor father of hers always had these little secret projects going in the park, even after he sold his interest. Miss Santos didn't have the heart to boot him out. I'll let you get back to work. <sighs> if you must. Will Nancy Drew please report to the security office? Oh, great. Now Harlan's going to apologize to me. I love how he um, can do that when I'm not even in the park. That's cute. I stepped out for a second, and when I came back, somebody'd left this envelope on my desk. Looks like it's for you. Got your name on it anyway. There's nothing inside but a key. Maybe it opens that door in the haunted house. Here, let me toss that envelope for you. I want to apologize for jumping all over you like that before. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that I would have done just what you did. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Aw, he likes us again. And here's the red tag. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I found some kind of electronic device under the carousel. I'm pretty sure someone has been turning the carousel on and off at night by remote control. Why would somebody want to do that? Whatever you found was probably just some kind of toy that fell out of some kid's pocket. Kessler used to have a workshop under what's now the haunted house. Have you ever been down there? I didn't even know there was a down there there. So you don't know anything about the hidden door in the room that has the old radiator in it? Sure don't. Never heard any of the other guards say anything about it either. I'll see you around. Have fun. I don't want to do the, uh, I mean, give him the red tag right now. Because that would mean, um doing the red tag story. I mean, that's the end game sequence. And I want to do this this death scene first because we, we want to get our money's worth and almost kill Nancy. Almost kill Nancy. We're obviously not going to kill her because we are very good people. So I use the remote there. I use the key here. And this gives me Maybe a... these stairs go down to Kessler's workshop. Huh. That's not the death scene with the, uh... I'm so confused. Let me save my game here. And let's see where these stairs go. Because I didn't do the spot scene thing yet. So let's see where these, these, these stairs go. I don't know if it's the death sequence or if it's the end game sequence. Maybe it's just the uh, death sequence. He walks down. Okay, yeah, no, this was just the uh, fake death sequence. Okay, but what? It, it goes nowhere? Oh, oh. Fine. I did it wrong, everyone. I'm very sorry and sad. I really wanted to see that potential death. Uh, Death by puffer fish. What's supposed to happen is a giant puffer fish comes down and almost hits Nancy. But I missed it by doing by by doing stuff out of order. Hey Nancy, what's up? Yeah, because I've already got the pliers. I guess if you if you have the pliers, you can't get the puffer fish death. Could you please turn the juice back on to the dummy in the haunted house that Ingrid was fixing? Here's the tag. You've really got the system down, don't you? I'll just flip the switch and you'll be good to go. I'll see you around. Have fun. But the pufferfish of doom was so cool. 
fingers magically come together so I can put a brass ring on it. I like it so much I'm putting a ring on it. Oh joy, this is it! That must be glory. And these are the real stairs to the hidden workshop. Uh, these stairs sure don't feel very safe. <laughs> Nancy Drew trips and falls. Oh my for the gosh. sake of the story this line, must be of jewels course. from that jewel heist. I should probably take these with me. It's a beautiful jewelry. Yes. And I leave behind this necklace cuz that's not jewelry. A letter. Joy's father must have left it for her. My dearest Joy, I hope Miles and his riddles have helped you remember how much you adored this horse and how dearly you loved the woman who gave it to you. I found this picture of her years ago. But I didn't want to give it to you until I knew you were ready. She loved you more than anything, Joy. We both did. Dad. P.S. If you want to see where Glory was carved, look for Kessler's symbol on the wall. I could never spend a lot of time in there. Very strange vibes. <gasps> that must be Joy's mother. She was beautiful. Alright, okay, I go up. So much for the stairs. Like Nancy trashed these stairs. And for some reason, the culprit did not notice this door or did not go through the door to find this carousel horse, did they? So this was Kessler's workshop. I don't know. People, you know, I heard people complaining how, why didn't the culprit, um, um, notice that side room? Where is that little side room now? It's kind of hard to notice inside this, uh area. Yeah, I guess it's just a hidden secret door, the area with the carousel horse, and that's why the culprit never found the carousel horse. And of course, the culprit's been sending emails. It looks like he's already got two buyers. Hooray. 4060. That looks great. Three to five weeks? That No, not three to five weeks. Well, how is he going to make these horses so quickly? Yes, so the buyer, I mean, our culprit is having a hard time making so many horses so quickly. It looks like somebody's been making reproductions, or should I say forgeries? It looks like they're making reproductions of this nightshade horse as opposed to the glory horse, which is the one that's uh, hidden behind the wall. Culprit just never found that horse hidden behind the wall for whatever reason. I'll bet that's the carousel horse that was stolen. Because this is the one that was actually stolen. The one behind the wall is not it. It looks like the culprit has been making lots and lots of these carousel horse reproductions, actually. You think the culprit would, like, try to focus on making just the one? Like, try to finish these two first, as opposed to making, you know, all those giant... Uh, horse heads and everything like instead of making all these backups just work on just work on the one that's closest to completion That's what I think the culprit should be doing Anyway time to meet the culprit Nancy 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 what have you done? It's what you've done you stole the horse you fabricated the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value And now you're making not just one forgery, but several you think you let everyone believe you were just a hopeless procrastinator. But this is the real reason you're behind in your work, isn't it? Right on all counts. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to tell anyone else. Ever. No, wait. Look what I have. They're diamonds. Real diamonds. Someone stole them 23 years ago and stashed them in the park. 
Well, well, little icing on the cake. <laughs> People are laughing. Okay, I need to I need to yell at him for having paint on his shirt. You, you I'm not gonna let you have this, Bessie paint shirt man. But if you think I'm letting you have him, you're nuts. You're toast now, Nancy. Run away, Nancy. Attack him. Hit him. Use a weapon or just stand in place while he comes in close for the kill. Nancy, no. Nancy, Nancy, I like how the Nancy. puffer fish is in the background, even done? though we avoided it's what the you've optional done. puffer fish. You stole fish the horse, you fabricated thing. the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value, and now you're making not just one forgery, but several. You think? You let everyone believe you were just a hopeless procrastinator. But this is the real reason you're behind in your work, isn't it? Right on all counts. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to tell anyone else. Ever. No, wait. Look what I have. They're diamonds. Real diamonds. Someone stole them 23 years ago and stashed them in the park. Well, well. Little icing on the cake. Yeah, so there was a note uh, in Nancy's... Uh, I mean, Nancy got an email from Sassy Detective telling her that you can distract culprits with money. And really, he, he, he doesn't look like he's been working on horses. He's got all this paint all over himself, and none of these are the colors used for this all-black horse. But if you think I'm letting you have them, you're nuts. You're toast now, Nancy. Oh, wait, I clicked the wrong option. Dang it! Why did I... That was a mistake. I got distracted doing commentary. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. What have you done? It's what you've done. You stole the horse, you fabricated the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value, and now you're making not just one forgery, but several. You think? You let everyone believe you were just a hopeless procrastinator. But this is the real reason you're behind in your work, isn't it? Right on all counts. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to tell anyone else. Ever. No, wait. Look what I have. They're diamonds. Real diamonds. Someone stole them 23 years ago and stashed them in the park. Well, well, little icing on the cake. That's right. You want him? Here. Ouch. Ow, hey. my face. Ow. I've got to get out of here. Run, 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 run. And then immediately uh, you turn and go over here. Nancy jumps over. He I'm somehow trapped. shuts the door get from out of all here. the way over there. Got you, Nancy, you're cornered. You might as well give up. See, if I try to escape, I get strangled again, right? Oh, I get electrocuted. End of the road, detective. And then strangled. Thank you. Wow, I, I, oh, no. I'm trapped. I've got to get out of here. I've got you, Nancy. You're cornered. I'm going to slowly walk towards you, you while might I'm as well standing give up. behind the sign. Okay, fine. I will call the police. They'll be able to help it Nancy. It would be rude to use my phone now. It would? It would be rude to use my phone now. What? Okay, well, we take the ring off, which undoes ah! the sign. The sign knocks him backwards ah! into here. Soon as yeah. I get out of here, I'm going to call the police, Elliot. So don't bother making plans for tonight, <laughs> or the next 10 years. Dear Ned, after trapping Elliot, I managed to pry the exit open and had Harlan call the police. Elliot admitted to stealing the carousel horse and planning the remote control device. He knew that publicity from the hauntings would increase the value of his forgeries. Needless to say, he's gone back to not liking me. Harlan, on the other hand, adores me now, because not only did he share the credit for busting Elliot, but his sudden fame brought him three job offers. He's Whoa. staying on at Captain's Cove out of loyalty to Paula, but he's happy knowing that being an ex-con will probably never be an issue for him again. As for Ingrid, she promptly attributed Elliot's bad behavior to a deficiency in some mineral I couldn't pronounce. And Joy, when I gave her the picture of her mother, she started smiling and has yet to stop. Inventing Miles was the best thing her late father could have done for her. In fact, when I went to the park to say goodbye just now, she wasn't in her office. She was riding the carousel. Ever yours, Nancy. So what credit did Harlan share with Nancy? What did Harlan do? Well, 
you turned on the red switch, you turned on the switch to turn on the, on the, uh, spook number 10, so he gets the credit for that, because he did that, Nancy was able to solve the case. And, uh, I'm a puzzle master, I solve puzzles with few attempts, cool. I did not get nine lives for dying a lot. It would be rude to use my phone now, but it's not rude for me to bash him in the face with a sign so it falls down a broken staircase. You have reached 555-4468. I can't come to the phone right now, so please leave a message. Hi, Bess. Hi, George. Well, thanks to you guys, I'm leaving here and flying directly to the Pacific Northwest for some much-needed R&R. George, I just got off the phone with that marine biologist friend of yours. She insisted I stay with her, and she even said she'd take me whale watching on the tour boat she owns. Anyway, thanks for arranging this little vacation, you two. One whole week of peace, quiet, and sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Bye! Nancy Drew on a quiet vacation? As if! Stay tuned for the next game in the series, Nancy Drew, Danger on Deception Island. Okay, so thank you very much for watching uh, this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me play uh, Nancy Drew, uh, The Haunted Carousel. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching everybody.